Good morning, and thank you guys for joining me again on my trying to conceive journey. Today is November 13th, and I wanted to give you guys an update on what happened yesterday when I went to the doctors. Um, of course, yesterday was my postquital and ultrasound and blower test. Uh, the postquital turned out pretty well. It Instead of the sperm shivering in place, like I told you guys before, they actually were moving around. So that means it's hopefully that I am starting to ovulate and that I will ovulate sometime soon. Um, we did the ultrasound. My right ovary really didn't have anything going on over there, but my left ovary um, actually did start to um, produce a follicle. We measured, it looked like two different ones, but they were measuring around 13 each. So hopefully one of those will mature and get to 16 or 17 because I believe that's the size they need to be before, you know, it will um, release. I don't know if I want to need something called a trigger shot. Um, hopefully, I'll get, I guess I'll just do it on my own because I've been doing some reading, but I'm not exactly sure what the trigger shots are for. Um, when she got my blood work back, um, she told me that my estrogen level was at 103. Now, yet again, I still didn't ask what this... Uh, estrogen level and what, where it needs to be. I think the last time I talked to you guys, my estrogen level was at 130 and they concluded that I did not ovulate, um, being as though we never seen a follicle. So with 103, my cervical mucus was more, um, it was less hostile than it was before. Um, as you did see, you know, some moving around, some weren't, um, but they were there, um, which is a lot better than the last time. Last time, uh, I think the first time she's seen two and they weren't moving, and then the other time she seen the other two, and they were shivering in place pretty much. Um, so with the, the, this post-quiddle test, I was actually pretty excited to know that my cervical communicus was more friendly. So hopefully I don't have to do any IUIs. But I was just a little concerned that I still have, we haven't seen the follicle yet. I guess 13, but it needs to get bigger. So hopefully it gets bigger and, you know, matures and it releases on its own. And I don't need any injections, I guess. I don't know. I didn't, we didn't get that far. But I started, you know, jumping again into just thinking ahead, like, what if I need injections or something? Um, and I actually didn't speak to my doctor yesterday because she actually had to run out the office uh, while I was there. But I was speaking to the nurse. Um, so I am going to go back again on Thursday. Uh, so I had actually have to go back on Thursday or Friday, and I chose Thursday. Um, and we're going to do another post quarter test and more blood work and off chat. And hopefully by then we'll actually see something. I actually am starting to do um, the OPKs at home. And I actually took one today, and I'm going to show it to you guys. This is uh, early pregnancy test strips.com or early pregnancy test.com, and I use their um, ovulation test kits. But I don't know if you can see that or not. And oh my god, you really can't see that. Let me see if I'll try covering my face up a little bit if you guys. Uh, no, I don't think you guys can see it, but there is a very, yeah, a little closer maybe. Okay, there it goes. I'll try and move my finger right there. That actually is the very faint, faint line. So I'm, a, I'm going to say it's safe to assume that I have not gotten my LH surge yet. Because um, she would have seen that um, in my blood work because they actually pulled that as well. And actually that one, like I said, I was pregnancy, uh, strips com. Now this one is by, I think it's answer. I'm not too sure. Um, I'm going to try and get you guys to see that, but my lighting obviously is way too bright. So I'll try to see if it can focus. Okay, and I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I'm going to move it right near my ring. That This is the control line, and right here, there's another faint line. So I know if there is no line whatsoever, that is definitely a negative. A faint line means that it's there but it's still negative because it has to be darker than the control line to say that you actually reach the surge. So I'm, I'm going to assume that my, my LH is building, so to say, but it hasn't reached high enough for me to consider that a surge, or at least for these test strips, to consider it a surge. And, of course, like I said, my blood work didn't reveal that I had a surge yet. Um, and if that was really straining on your, on your eyes, guys, I do apologize. And I might even take pictures with a different camera and upload them so you guys can see what it looked like. Um compared to when I might get my surge, if I do get a surge. Um, but hopefully, like I said, that I am ovulating or starting to ovulate versus not doing anything at all the last time. So keep your fingers crossed. That was my update for you. Sorry, it might have been a little long-winded, but I actually started doing my OPKs, and I started today on the 13th. So today is the 13th, which is a Tuesday. Two more days. Let's hope, you know, something does happen that, you know, I get to 
get my big O, so to say, and hopefully December 1st I can still get this Christmas gift and get a, I know, a BFP. So, I will chat with you guys later. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely write them down below, or you can, I guess, I don't know if it's called instant message or not. I don't know what it's called, but you can send me a message or an inbox, or you can just post a comment and I will respond to you guys. All right, I'll chat with you guys later. Bye.